Hello everybody. Welcome to second video on powerful writing to gain influence, avoid miscommunication, build trust, and hence save costs to yourself, your business, or your organization. Today's topic is writing simple and direct sentences. Sentences are clearest, most forceful, and easiest to understand if they are simple and direct. If instead sentences are complicated and indirect, the reader is slowed down and even confused. So why are simple and direct sentences powerful? Consider these two alternative sentences to describe the performance of an employee in an organization. The first is, recession had John saving us millions. Whereas the second says, during recession, John saved us millions. Which sentence do you think praises John directly and clearly? Clearly, the first sentence is neither direct nor clear. Instead, it is ambiguous. It can imply as if recession caused John to save millions. Whether John can take much credit for that saving is possible, but not clear. The focus on recession, however, is unmistakable. Therefore, this sentence can be interpreted as if a recession had something, details of that something being less important than recession itself. In contrast, the second sentence is simple and direct. It clearly states that John saved millions. If we simplify this answer, we can say that at some time, John saved us millions. Whether that time is important or not, John's role cannot be swept aside. Let us consider another example. Suppose we want to know what work was done somewhere. Consider this first answer. It says, Saturn had wiring installed, walls painted, and doors fixed. Question is, what is Saturn? Is this a person who was responsible for getting all these jobs done? Or is it the building where everything was done? Even I don't know the answer to that because I just invented that name for this slide. Now instead, if we write, In Saturn, wiring was installed, walls were painted, and doors were fixed. It's clear that we are talking about a building here. So how do we make simple and direct sentences that deliver the intended message powerfully without ambiguity? Is there a definite method to it or is it just an art? Fortunately, there is a method to keeping sentences simple and direct. And these techniques are express core of the message in subject, verb and completer of sentence, Avoid noun clusters. Write short sentences. Use clear pronouns. Put parallel ideas in parallel forms. In this video, we shall only discuss the first technique. In fact, for this video, we shall simply discuss a part of the first technique. That is, how to emphasize what is the topic of a sentence. To do that, we put the topic into the subject of the sentence. Now, what do we mean by the subject? To refresh our memories, let's take a quick detour into English grammar. So we have a sentence here, John wrote the letter. In this sentence, wrote is a verb which describes an action. Since John did that action, John is the subject in the sentence. And the target of John's action is letter. Hence, letter is the object. When subject and object are both present in a sentence, as is the case here, the verb is called a transitive verb. But when the object is missing, for example, in the sentence, John walked, the verb walked is an example of intransitive verb. Note when switching to passive voice, subject and object reverse. For example, if the same sentence was rewritten as the letter was written by John, then letter becomes the subject and John is the object. 
For further details on subject and object, consider some reputed reference or grammar such as that given at the bottom of this slide. I have also put this link in the description, in the description under this video. So let us revisit the sentences we saw earlier to see what was done right in the sentences that clearly delivered their messages. In the first sentence, which had the form of recession had something, recession is the subject of the sentence, whereas had is the verb there. However, topic of that sentence really is not recession. Instead, it was meant to be John. The message of the sentence is what John did. The second sentence clearly makes John the subject. So as a result, as we saw earlier, we get the information correctly as we required. Likewise, in the first sentence here, Saturn is the subject. However, the information that we wish to convey is not about Saturn. Instead, it is about various works conducted in Saturn. Therefore, the topics must be various works and the messages are how they were done. Thus, we have three topics here, wiring, walls, and doors. And all three, as we notice, are now the subjects in the clearer sentence. So, the take-home message is that to write a simple and direct sentence, first identify its topic. Once you have done that, make the topic the subject of that sentence. So that's it for today, but before I let you go, here are two exercise questions for you. You can attempt them independently, but try to discuss your answers in groups or with a study partner. Also, please leave your answers in the comments section below this video. Also, from your own reading elsewhere, identify at least 10 sentences where topic is not in the subject, and then correct those sentences. For everyone's benefit, please write your examples in the comments below. In the next video, we shall discuss the next characteristic of simple and direct sentences, that is, putting action into verbs. So enjoy the rest of the week and see you in the next video.